Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. So today, I always love to film things and get excited about things that I generally genuinely want to know for myself so I get so excited to film because I figure maybe there's somebody out there that would be curious to know what's about to go down so what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a beat down with the Tarte Shape Tape and the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer I bought it I was really excited to try it and of course Tarte Shape Tape always owns me corazón but I wanted to see like really side by side how do these go down can any of you guess which one is each side so I did one side of a tart one side with the Laura Mercier and I'm doing like a full review on it um, just to go over a couple of the details you know good old tart shape tape is an exclusive out of Ulta it's 27 bucks just really quickly they claim it's hydrating long wearing natural and radiant crease free okay so a lot of us already know that but the Laura Mercier is 28 bucks and it's claiming to be medium to full coverage, weightless, hydrating, and blurs. And it has a 12 hour crease resistant. And it does uh, recommend to use the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder, which I do happen to have. So I am going to do what they recommend and see what we, we think with that. And yeah, so if you guys wanna see how these throw down, then keep on watching. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and before I forget, I I always I hate even doing this, but I have to have to do my thing. Um, if you do like videos like this, you do enjoy this, please make sure to subscribe, click the little notification bell so you do get notified when I do upload a video. Okay, so I'm going to do the Laura Mercier on. I, I'll just I guess I'll do my left side, and then I'll do no I'm sorry Tarte on my left. I'll do Laura Mercier on my right. Um, I tried to figure out what shades would be closest. I'll put some. Uh, I'll put a, a shot for you in the screen of the shades that I have in Tarte Shape Tape. So I tried to pick one that was as close as possible to Laura Mercier. I didn't realize it, but the, all my Tarte Shape Tapes are pretty like peachy, like undertone. But anyways, it's fine. But the the one that I have, I have the Laura Mercier in 2W, which is two. It's in their light range, I believe, and it's warm and it's pretty yellow so hopefully I don't look too crazy with the side by side but it's all good we're doing it for the sake of this experiment and we're gonna see how this mamma jamma goes but I'm going to just I already did my makeup as I normally would I did my under eyes with serum and moisturizer I always use my Becca under eye corrector so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that under my eye right now and we'll get to And I'm gonna use different sponges as well. So I'll use my purple one. I'm just gonna blend in that corrector real quick. All right, let's get to it. So I'm going in with light, neutral, and tart. That's the shade I'm gonna be going in on. So I'm gonna just do three swipes. Three on the right. So the wand is a little, I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the wand on the Laura Mercier. I guess it's cool I have some flex, but I don't know. I like the stability of the tart application a little better. As far as the consistency, the Laura Mercier does feel thinner which I'm not opposed to. Tarte definitely just feels a lot thicker. So I'm gonna go in and start blending it out. Right now, that's what it looks like with one application. I don't know if I like this sponge. I might switch it out. This sponge I like. All right, so let me get a mirror so I can see this. Okay, look at this Mamma Jamma close. They actually look kind of similar. I see a little bit more coverage on the Tarte Shape Tape side. It's definitely, you can see it's definitely covering up more of my under eye circle. So, which I'm not surprised that 
there's more coverage on the tart. Let me go in with one more. I want, I think I'm gonna try a brush too. Even though they both recommend sponges, I think I'm gonna uh, go in with more. And it does say this is buildable, the Laura Mercier, so let's see if it is. So now let's go in with the brush. I'm gonna use my Morphe G2. The Laura Mercier is blending really nice. It's um, it's not, it doesn't dry super quick, which is cool. I don't, I prefer ones that don't, but it's not a make or break for me, but you definitely have some blending time on your hands, which is cool. You don't have to rush yourself so much. All right, so that's with two coats and with a brush. So that will, will give you more coverage using a brush versus a sponge. Right, so now we have two coats on. I feel like the colors are actually look pretty similar. I thought it was gonna be like a bigger difference, but the colors actually, I'm fine with the color. But I don't know how buildable this Laura Mercier is. It's not, I still don't have the coverage that I want. And it says it's buildable to full, so I don't think it is. Let's go in with the third coat. Okay, so the third coat is definitely a lot better. I feel like now it's starting to look a little bit more equivalent. Like I could still even see some freckles peeking through on this side, but I feel like right now they're looking pretty equivalent now with coverage. And it does feel lightweight. I don't feel like I have a ton of product on, even though I did go in with three coats. So now I'm gonna set it. So for the Laura Mercier, they do recommend that you use the Secret Brightening Powder, which I do have, and I do like it. I've actually been dabbling in it with a little bit with my Tarte recently, so I'm not opposed to setting both eyes with that. So we will go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D. Make sure I have nothing on this powder, on this brush. So I normally don't go in really heavy with this stuff. It does uh, bring flashbacks, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of setting. And I just use a little bit of the residue that's on the cap, that's like all I use. Okay, so that portion is done. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, see how everything turns out, and then I will come back give my first impression thoughts and then check-ins and yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, so makeup's on. Um, I've been trying to just, you know, soak it all in, take some really close observations on this and I'm not mad at the Laura Mercier side at all. Like, it's not bad by any means, but just as my initial first impression, um, it's definitely not as bright and smooth than my Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know, we'll try to zoom you in. But anyway, so it definitely looks like brighter and smoother. I'm seeing more of my freckles coming through and some more texture coming through with, um, with this concealer. So um, the creasing, I hate to say this with the Laura Mercier side, that's a little bit more creasing unless it's like just that eyeball has more wrinkles, but I see just a faint little bit more right here. So, I mean, basically my initial impression is that I think it's a fine concealer. I think it would be great for um, someone that has flawless skin that really just wants maybe some, a little bit of brightening for a no makeup makeup kind of day. I really don't even think it would do much for spot concealing, but it is pretty for a natural radiant type of look, maybe in the summer and you want to just brighten up a little bit on the eye without doing like a full under eye beat down and all that jazz. Like I kind of see it for that purpose, but that for me, that's really what it would be suitable for. I mean, it doesn't look drying. I think it has a very natural look to it, which I do like. And yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I don't know if it's enough to like stray me from my Tarte Shape Tape. And actually, to be honest, you know what this really reminds me, what Laura Mercier reminds me of? Let me show you. 
Maybelline Fit Me. I think it, it really reminds me of Maybelline Fit Me. Because I wear the, this on my no makeup makeup days, or just no makeup days, and I put a little bit under my eye. And I feel like it reminds me a lot of that. It gives you some of that nice coverage, but it still doesn't look drying. You don't really have to do a lot of setting with it. So for me, this could be a possible dupe for Maybelline Fit Me. Interesting. Okay, so that's my initial review or you know first impression on it um i am going to wear this throughout the day so i will do a check-in and we'll do a last ditch effort to see how it at least wore it is 10 10 15 uh, a.m so i'm gonna be wearing this all day or as long as i can and yeah so i'll see you guys later on so we're back, it's 6.30, so I think I'm done. My eyelashes are flapjacking in the wind. I think it's time to call it a day. But, so I have my final opinion on the concealer. So I've been like trying to, you know, really pick apart everything about this concealer, the good, the bad, everything compared to my Tarte. And there's some pros and there's definitely some cons. Um, as far as um, the wear time, it did it did hold up well. I did not notice any um, creases other than when I first noticed in the beginning. So that could have just been this eyeball or maybe I did something or I set it less on that. So like I'm not gonna dock them anything on that because it did hold up really, really well. I really like the fact that um, it did have like some moisturizing properties from what I could see. So I did really like that my under eye didn't look super dry, which was awesome. I know Tarte Shape Tape has a little bit more of a matte uh, vibe, which is the, probably the one thing that I dislike about Tarte Shape Tape because I'm just not a super matte kind of gal. And so I really appreciated the fact that the Laura Mercier was a little bit more moisturizing and had a little bit more of an, a luminosity that came through it versus just like a straight flat matte. Um, what else? Let me look at what else? What else? What else? Yeah, so let me, that's pretty much the, ba the main things. I will say though, the main thing though that really um, swayed my opinion on these because I could live with the pros and cons of both concealers, but the one thing that I did notice with the Laura Mercier is that I did have more texture coming through with my skin. So I noticed specifically in this area, I noticed, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera, but like I look way more like blurred out right here and brighter and like right here, it's like I could see like the, like my pores and the little like dots, you know, that come through with your skin. And definitely there is less coverage. So I kick it, I'm okay with, it doesn't necessarily have to be full coverage concealer because there are days that I don't wanna be fully like beat down and I wanna have a little bit more of like a glowy youthful look. So I was, I'm open to the Laura Mercier, especially on summer days when I don't want a ton of makeup on and I want a moisturizing radiant concealer. I think that this is like a really good match for that. But the main things that I didn't like was that I could see the texture and yeah, I think that was like the main thing I would say. So, but otherwise I do think it's a really good concealer, but if I'm looking for a full beat down, I'm probably not gonna go to that concealer, but on a warm summer day and I want a, a nice little like moisturizing glow under my eye, I will go for that. But so, that's pretty much my takeaway from it. I hope it was some help for you guys. If you like this video, if you did take away something from it, please make sure to click a little likey if you can. And that's it. So I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.